it is me and my Akio T. And as we can see, today is going to be a very magical unboxing because Akio Lit Joy Crate, it has arrived. Yes, it is the start of the new Lit Joy Crate magical subscription series. And this is the new wonderful Legends and Lore box. And I am super excited to see what is inside. And I also love how the artwork for the boxes has changed this year. I really enjoyed last year, but this year I love the details of it. First off, we have the Tale of the Beetle and the Bard right up front. On the side, we have the Shrieking Shack. We have the Vanishing Cabinet. We have the Mirror of Erised. On the bottom, we have a beautiful unicorn. And then on the side here, we have the Philosopher's Stone, or the Sorcerer's Stone, as we call it here in America. And I am just super excited to see what the goodies are inside. And without further ado, trusty pocket knife, let's see what's inside, shall we? And there's also, oh, yes. And also on the inside, we have another, another beautiful, bit of art. It's a chamber of secrets. So here we have the inside. Oh. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Lit Joy Crate, they come out with a magical subscription box every quarter. And they also do quarterly um, YA subscription boxes, which are super fun. And if you're interested in picking up your own Lit Joy Crate or buying anything from the store, I do have a $5 off coupon in the link down below. So first things first, as River Song would say, we have our spoilers. Here we have our spoiler card, and it is so beautiful. It looks like a copy of the Tales of Beetle and the Bard, and I just absolutely love them. It's like a little extra bonus goodie um, just in of itself. So first thing I see on top are some of my add-ons, and number one, we have an adventure card, which kind of shifts. I don't know if it'll be Let's see, easy to see, might be a little bit tricky, but anyway, it shifts from the Cloak of Invisibility to the Elder Wand to the Resurrection Stone, which is really cool. And here we have the back of our little card, so that is really cool. Up next are some pins, and this is, I believe, going to be a new series. For the add-ons, I think they're going to be um, a series of Patronus pins that you can add to your box. So the first one that we have is Hermione's Otter, and it is so cute and sweet. And on the back, it has a little adoption certificate. I just love how even the back of the stuff holding the pins is really cute and detailed. Up next is a Lunicorn exclusive. And if you're unfamiliar with the Lunicorn program, basically you pay um, $10 a month, which turns into um, 100 points on your LitJoy account, and you have early access and sneak peeks to products, exclusive products, and an exclusive Facebook group. So here is our Lunicorn exclusive pin, and it is Luna's Patronus, which is the little rabbit. And here we have the back, which is another little adoption adoption certificate and that is just so sweet oh, and I love how um, like the smoke around the animal has a slight shimmer to it so it's very magical up next I see right here on top we have a little art card for our theme this month which was legends and lore and it is death on the bridge with the three brothers we also have two more adventure cards. So we have Nicholas Flamel with the Philosopher's Stone, and we have Grindelwald right here looking rather spooky with the Elder One. And here we have the backs of our cards. It has little informations on it. So that should go nicely with the little Three Brothers card. So, first thing I notice about the box is that it's very full, which means that, sadly, my Chamber of Secrets fairy door, and it looks like also my key add-ons will be in a later box. So, stay tuned, there'll probably be a part two. 
But the first thing I see in our box is really quite stunning. Look at that. We have some snakes. Time to speak some parcel tongue and open it up. If I can get it open nice and neat. Here we go. So, what is it for open? Goosebumps. As you can tell, it's one of my favorites I have on my Chamber of Secrets shirt right now. Open up. There we go. Ah, the issues of opening live. There we go. So it looks like it's a little, ooh, little journal. <gasps> ooh. So it is a little um, line journal, or you can just write whatever you want in it. But it says... The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. That is so cool. And then the eyes of the snakes are bejeweled, and so they glint and glimmer, and they're just spooky. And it almost feels like, um, the cover almost feels like metal, which is really, really cool. And something that I've never seen before. That is pretty awesome. Up next, ooh. We have a very heavy box. It says Magical Collection. So let's see what we have inside. Oh, there they are. Hey, I found them. I found the keys. Ha -ha. And, ooh, and something else. So let's see what the something else is first. Ooh, I think I saw possibly a spoiler for these. Yes. So we have a couple of bookends. I shall unwrap them and show them to you. There we go. So the first one is the three brothers, and this is a metal bookend. And then the next one is rather spooky because it is death himself. Ooh. So of course that's from the tale of Beetle and the Bard. And I shall set it right here, and I shall set the three brothers and right there. So here we have, ah, uh, finally found them, our keys. So I don't know which is which. I did buy both, so we shall be, you shall be the first to know. So which key is it? <gasps> Ooh, so here we have our key for platform nine and three quarters, and it is gorgeous. Look at, we have our little Hogwarts Express with the wheels that actually spin. Oh, I absolutely love it. So the, all the wheels spin. We have the key. Ooh. And it's not just the same on both sides. It's actually different. There we have the beautiful griffin that's at the um, Dumbledore staircase. And Hogwarts on this side with the bridge. Ooh. And also we get a letter to Hogwarts, which is so cool. It looks so cute and realistic, and it opens up. Look at that! Finally get my letter to Hogwarts. And then on the back, it says, the finest school of witchcraft and wizardry in the world, and it says, you have been accepted. Term begins on the 1st of September. We await your owl by no later than the 31st of July. Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress. Ah, wonderful. So that means that our other key has something very familiar with Luna because... Look at that! It's the key to Luna's house. So here we have one of the little charms. It says keep off the... Um, what are they? The ridgeable plums and there it is right there so cute next we have the key itself which is the their little house or tower and it is the deathly hallows and the center spins that is very cool then lastly we get our own copy of the quibbler it's so cool because there's little holographic stars in it and as you tilt it up and down they s twist and they fall. That is so cool. I've never seen a charm like this before so that is really cool and unique. 
and I absolutely love it. I feel like I say that a lot, but I genuinely do love a lot of these things. Up next, we have ooh, another really cool looking box with beautiful artwork on all sides of it. Ooh, is that Harry? Oh no, it's James. Ooh, it's the Marauders. That is so cool. So, I'm fingers crossed. I think I know what this could be. Yes, it is. So, we have a mug. It's so cool. Oh, oh, I get it. The artwork on the front. So, on one side of our mug, we have Hogwarts and we have the Marauders. We have Wormtail. We have Mooney, Padfoot, and Prongs. So, here they are by day. And then as you twist the mug, here we are at night, and so we here see Lupin as a werewolf, we see Peter Pettigrew as a little rat, we see Sirius as a wonderful dog, and we see James as a stag and the Shrieking Shack. This is so cool. I love it. Oh, I love a good Harry Potter mug. This definitely, definitely is probably going to be my absolute favorite item out of this box. Up next, ooh, we have a little brown box with a little bit of twine on top. So let's see what's inside. You guys. Oh my gosh. It's the Philosopher's Stone! The Sorcerer's Stone! Nicholas Flamel's Magical Stone! Oh my gosh! This I'm I'm at a loss for words. I now I have the sorcerer's stone. This is so cool. And it comes in a little package like it does in the film and in the book. Ah! I love it. I'm going to like display it like this. Because I think that would be really cool. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next thing in our box Ooh, looks like advanced potion making. I love the artwork on the boxes. Absolutely stunning and magical and fantastic. So let's see what we have. Advanced potion making. Ooh, it has a really neat bit of artwork like the room of requirement. So let's, and it has a little bag on the inside. Ooh, actually, oh, I get it. I think I know what it is. So it is a puzzle of the Room of Requirement with all its different um, stuff in it. And it is in a really cool box to keep it in. And it looks like a book. So I could just set this on my shelf and it looks like I have advanced potion making. That is so cool. So that was everything in our box. So let's see, take a look at our sneak peeks. So yes, we have all our different items in here. We have the Philosopher's Stone, which I love so much. And then we have our adventure card and joining up the, for the Lunicorns. And the next theme, which is... <gasps> wizard tournament. I am super excited. So it is going to be based on it items representing the tasks and characters related to the Tri-Wizard tournament. And the subscriber renewals will be April the 1st, so April Fools. And the add-on week is April the 4th through the 10th. And I'm really excited for this because I feel like the film didn't do... Um, the Goblet of Fire Justice, and hopefully there'll be some really cool items that were in the book but not in the film. Maybe Dumbledore saying calmly, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? That would be pretty funny. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But honestly, I think my favorite item is going to be the Hogwarts Express Key. And definitely the Marauder's Mug. That is so cool. The 
puzzle is okay. I actually really enjoy the box more than I'll probably enjoy the puzzle, but it's okay. And hopefully soon I will be getting my Chamber of Secrets store, so maybe in my next um, regular LitJoy unboxing I will show that to everybody. Hopefully it will come soon. So, thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope that you have enjoyed this magical unboxing. And if you're interested in any of these items or getting your own magical subscription, don't forget that $5 off coupon down below. If you're interested in checking out any more of my videos, go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button right there so that you never miss my videos ever again. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye! Knox.